was a special education paraeducator out of the Yellow County Office of Education. I did network administration and computer tech work at Mount San Jacinto Community College uh, for the Disabled Students Program. I've been on staff for 14 years, but I was a member eight years prior to that. Everything I know, I learned here. I didn't come to CSEA with, with a, a wealth of union knowledge. I kind of found my people when I found CSEA. If I was a member out of the Sacramento area when, when I was a member, I was part of members that were dogging Arnold back in the day, and the staff, they sort of figured out that I really liked this. We never once thought, well, they're only calling us because no one else will do it. We thought we were so lucky. I got sucked right in. I found out about the member intern program. The program is an opportunity to spend time with a labor rep. So the member has to go through a pretty substantial screening process, um, and then they spend a week in class learning different things about how to be a labor rep. I have gotten to be a mentor in the member intern program. This is my fourth term. I think that those opportunities that I got, it's only fair that I pay that back. I was a member who knew nothing, and now I'm a senior labor rep in the San Diego field office helping oversee 51 chapters. I was involved in my local chapter, and I had a member who called. She had a medical issue, she had a brain cyst, and she was having some trouble with her local supervisor. And management had called her into a meeting, off-site at a local restaurant, and they were having the chief of police question her, so she needed some help. So I went with her. I had my labor rep prep me, and he did a great job. What ended up happening was, during that meeting, the police officer arrested her, told her it was for felony embezzlement out of nowhere, and took her back to the college. He held her for four hours captive. He uh, did not file any of the paperwork uh, required of a police officer, and he wrote a resignation letter for her and forced her to sign it. And so I went to the newspapers and I started just telling any newspaper to see if I could get any of them to run it. And luckily a couple did. And when that happened, the senior investigator uh, for the district attorney's office called me and said, what in the world is all this stuff in the newspaper? And I told him. They ended up running three search warrants on the, both college campuses and the officer's private home. And he ended up being arrested and pled guilty to eight felonies and two misdemeanors. Um, I couldn't go back and I wouldn't go back. I never would have, I, I couldn't have. I had a field director uh, at the time in Rancho Cucamonga who said she'd give me a shot and she did and I've been here ever since. My day is defined sometimes on a minute by minute basis. I don't know what I'm gonna come into. So we're gonna... I have 12 chapters. For Northern California, that's not unusual and it's not as many as some of my coworkers have, but that's a lot of contracts, it's a lot of chapters. A labor relations representative is a master of everything, right? You have to work and build relationships and service everyone at all levels of that interaction. What really makes me excited about going to work is working with members and showing them that they have the power to change their lives. They have the power to change the lives of their coworkers, and they can do that because they have the power. I'm just showing them how to get there. I'm in a unique role as the senior of the field office. So I tend to handle whatever trouble cases that come in, the higher level duties. The other thing I do is a lot of um, working with the field director on uh, onboarding new staff or assisting existing staff when they need additional technical help in the field. You have to manage uh, the relationship between the labor rep and the members, the labor rep and the executive board of the chapter, the labor rep and the office the labor rep, and management on the other side of the table. I'm one of those folks that is really a um, little weird about how I like the table set up. I like us to set in a nice, powerful position and make sure everybody feels like they're in charge and that we're all on the same page and we're ready to do business with uh, the employer. Oh, you have these relationships with the other side of the table. We can fight today and someone's gonna win and somebody's gonna lose, but I'm still gonna work with that person tomorrow. And so that leads to a constant balance of figuring out where you can make deals where you need to make them and where you can have the fight you need to have when you need to have the fight because it's the right fight. The work of the union's never done. So the expectation that I have on myself is probably higher than the expectation the members have. But it's really, um, it's really about having enough time to make a connection with people. It's a tough part of the job. You have to really balance relationships 
and some topics we're just never going to agree on. CSEA has given me every opportunity to make my life different. It gave me opportunities to, to have a better life for my children and my family. I met my wife at CSEA. Uh, my wife was a labor rep for CSEA for almost 10 years out of the Rancho Cucamonga field office. She's brilliant and beautiful and I learned so much from her. I am lucky enough to be the grandmother of six amazing children and the mom of two amazing children who aren't children anymore and so that's that is where my heart is the happiest. Wherever they are that is really where my heart is the happiest. I love animals, I have dogs, I have a great husband. I have a 14 year old boy who just started high school. I have a seven-year-old girl, she just started her second grade. They're so much further in every way than I was at their point. I look at them and um, I'm proud of them and I'm just shocked uh, about how much further along they, and how much more they have figured out than I did when I was seven or 14, respectively. <laughs> My son, I tell him all the time, I'm like, oh, I think you're cooler than I am now, let alone then. <laughs> Hi, it's Teresa from CSEA. I'm just calling Lots you of back times to we talk to talk people to that are in a crisis. We were telling them they had an opportunity to put in for some emergency relief, and a lot of them said to me on the phone, you know what, we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna save that money for somebody else who needs it more. And it just filled my heart, because those are the people I get to work with. You can get out of CSEA whatever you need and whatever you put into it. There are people that are working and feeding their families because we intervened. There's nothing more powerful than that.